In today's video, we'll be exploring the new BetterMaker Passive Equalizer Valve Edition. BetterMaker is no stranger to Pultec style EQs. They've integrated the signature curve into nearly every EQ they've released, from the Analog EQ232 to their latest stereo passive equalizers. I personally own the Mastering EQ, which you might be able to see over my shoulder, and the Stereo Passive Equalizer, and I absolutely love both of them. What's unique about the Valve Edition is the incorporation of tubes. Staying true to the design philosophy of the original Pultec created by Pulse Technologies. They used vacuum tubes in their amplifier section, which gave Pultec the reputation for adding the signature warmth and smoothness that we all know and love. In today's video, I'll compare the EQ curve of the new valve edition to the older ones, and we'll listen to hear just how much of a difference adding the valves makes. Before we dive in, if you're looking for mixing and mastering services, or if you want to learn more about improving your skills, check out my courses, presets, and one-on-one -on -one classes at mixandmastermysong.com. Let's go. Okay, so first, let's go through the plugin really quickly, just so you can have an idea of how it all works. It's like any other Pultec EQ. You have your low boost, your low cut, your high boost curve, your high boost, your high cut, and then it has a gain as well. What's interesting about this is it does have the usual EQ frequencies that you would find in most pull techs, but you can go in between. So you can actually dial this into whatever frequency you want from you know 20 all the way up to 100 for the low bands, and then a much broader frequency spectrum on the high boost than any pull tech from 500 hertz all the way up to 28K. So Really cool that you can go anywhere in between. You know, sometimes it's kind of annoying to be fixed on a Pultec EQ. This allows you to go anywhere you want. To the right, you'll see the valve section, right? And so you can, it's this is flat where it's at. And then if you hit it, it gives you some of the heat and brings in some of those harmonics and so forth. Up here, you have an analyzer and you can, you know, drag the EQ points just like you can with like a fab filter or something like that. Below that is the output filter, which gives you a high pass filter and a low pass filter. Another welcome thing to have built into the pool tech. And then up here you have left and right, uh, or you can switch it to mid side and you'll notice it kind of pulled out a second pool tech for us. And you can either do this linked. So they're linked here or unlink it. And you can, you know, boost the, the, the sides and leave the mids the same. And that's nice to have on a pool tech. Uh, you can also sew the bands here with uh, sides, mid, and so forth. And then lastly, just presets, uh, A, B, C, D. You can have four different preset settings that you like and hear it on different parts. Really easy and cool to have. And that's basically it for the GUI. So next I wanna see how close the curves of their EQ232D, which is the other Better Maker plugin that's available, was to the new stereo passive equalizer, the valve edition. Let's just boost this at 10K a bit and let's make the um, band broad. And, and as you can see, I have this set up to this uh, curve EQ analyzer. And so we're just boosting a little over 3 dB here, just 10K broadband. And so that's the 232. And then now let me switch over to the new Better Maker EQ and we're gonna do 10K. So we can click on that and then broad EQ is already there. And so let's just boost this up and you'll see what's interesting is they're close, but a little bit different, which is fine. I'm, I'm happy with them being a little bit different. It gives different flavors for different pool techs. And I assume I'm, I'm going to assume that maybe my stereo uh, pool tech that's like this one with, without the valves is the same, but just by turning this EQ point a bit, you can get, pretty dang close to the EQ curve of the 232. Now, what's interesting though, is we had to turn this all the way up to 12.5K in order for it to match the frequency curve. So the curves are the same, but different, I guess is the conclusion there. And that's okay. Like I said, I like to have different uh, curves for different pool techs. That's totally fine. Okay, so let's get into some listening examples. First, I'm gonna pull up this country song that I did with my buddy Garrett Gregory. It's called Leaving You. Make sure to check him out. Just gonna throw the EQs on and see what we can do to make it sound better. This mix is a little bright, so maybe we're adding some low end, we'll thicken this thing up a bit. And maybe by turning the valves on, uh, it will give it a little more weight too. After this, I'm actually gonna compare the 232 to the valve. So make sure to stick around to listen to that comparison. But here we go with Garrett's song. Cause I know just what you say. Show up at all, well, there's only so many things 
All right, so it definitely added some heavy weight to that, which it, it kind of needed. Maybe a little bit too much, but but we backed it down a bit at the end. And then the valve was really interesting. It really does add some some saturation and thickness to it. And maybe for this song, it might actually not need it. I felt like it almost sounded better without it. But having that valve here is actually a pretty cool addition to a pool tech. Okay, so now I wanna compare the 232 to the new stereo passive equalizer with the valve. So what I did was I matched the frequencies with the curve EQ. So already the test is a little weird because I had to actually match it by eye. If I had done 10K on the 232 and then 10K on the pool, on the better maker, uh, the passive valve EQ, it would sound way different because as you can see, this is way up to 12.9 and on the regular EQ, it's 10K. And then this is at 93.3 where in the regular one, it's 100 Hertz. So right out the gate, they're kind of different EQs by the way the curves are, but you can get them close to the same. And that's what I wanted to do just to be able to hear the actual differences of the two units. All right, now that I explained that and hopefully explained it correctly, Let's listen. So as you can see here, I have 232. We'll even color this different just so it's a little easier for you guys to see it. Um, we have the 232 and then we have the valve here. So it's gonna go back and forth, same song. This one's by Trip Carter. You'll hear the valve first, and then it'll switch to the 232 just so we can hear the difference. And I'm gonna actually make this flat so then it's really should be uh, quite a bit closer. Okay, so they actually sound pretty close to each other. Slight differences, but pretty dang close. Now what's interesting though, let's put this heat on and now let's hear the difference with the valve saturation happening. All right, so there it does sound quite a bit different. There's just a, a warmth and a saturation. The top end shrillness is gone just a little bit by adding the valve to it. So good news is, is the valve does actually add something different. Let's try one more thing. Let's just take this to actual 10K and take this to actually 100 Hertz and take a listen to what it would sound like if we just compared these based on matching frequencies. So now you hear the difference between the curves, how there are actually different curves and you can really hear the difference between the two units. All right, so final question is, do you need this plugin? I would say if you already have a bunch of pool techs, you might not need it. Um, it does have some great features. You have the ability to change the frequency to whatever frequency you want within you know, the spectrum that it allows. Uh, the mid side options are really cool to this and having both a clean pool tech and then a valve option is another great feature as well. So, you know, compare it to some of your other pool techs, see if you like it or not. If you have the Plugin Alliance subscription, which I do, uh, you get it free anyway. So you can use it uh, to your heart's content if you already have the subscription. So that's basically it for that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you going to pick this up? If you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. Talk to you guys soon.